The Secret World of Alex Mack is an American television series that ran on Nickelodeon from October 8, 1994 to January 15, 1998, replacing Clarissa Explains It All on the SNCC lineup. It also aired on YTV in Canada, Channel 4 in the United Kingdom and NHK in Japan, and was a staple in the children's weekday lineup for much of the mid to late 1990s on the ABC. Repeats of the series aired in 2003 on the N, but it was soon replaced there. The series was produced by Thomas Lynch and John Lynch of Lynch Entertainment, produced by RHI Entertainment, Hallmark Entertainment, and Nickelodeon Productions, and was co-created by Tom Lynch and Ken Lipman. Topic. Plot Alex Mack is an ordinary teenage girl, living with her parents, George and Barbara, and older sister, Annie, in the fictional corporate town of Paradise Valley. While walking home after her first day of junior high school, she is nearly hit by a truck from a chemical plant, and during the incident, she is drenched with a top-secret chemical called GC-161. She soon discovers that it has given her strange powers, such as telekinesis, shooting electricity from her fingers, and the ability to dissolve into a mobile puddle of water. However, her powers prove to be unpredictable, such as when her skin starts glowing brightly when she is nervous. She confides only in Annie and her best friend, Ray, choosing to keep her powers a secret from everyone else, including her parents, for fear of what the chemical plant CEO, Daniela Tron, will do to her if she finds out. Topic. Characters Topic. Main characters Alex Mack played by Larissa Olenek Alex is an average teenager in Paradise Valley. While walking home from school, she is nearly hit by a truck carrying GC-161 and is doused with it, thus giving her extraordinary powers. Among them are telekinesis and the ability to liquefy. Ray Alvarado, played by Darius Love, Alex's closest friend and next door neighbor, and the only one besides Annie to know about Alex's powers. Annie Mack, played by Meredith Bishop, Alex's older sister, and a scientific genius in her own right. Next to Ray, she is the only one who originally knows about Alex's powers. She administers various scientific tests to ensure Alex's safety. She also hopes to one day present her research, in an effort to stop Daniela Tron. George Mack, played by Michael Blakely, Alex's father. He is a brilliant chemist who works for Daniela Tron at the Paradise Valley Chemical Plant. Barbara Mack, played by Dorian Lepinto, Alex's mother. She is a more down-to-earth woman who works in a public relations firm. Topic. Recurring cast Louis Driscoll, played by Benjamin Kimball Smith, Alex and Ray's abrasive friend. Dave Watt, played by John Nielsen, the dim witted truck driver who was driving the truck that dumped the GC 161 chemical on Alex. As the only witness to the accident, Dave is often forced to serve as a partner to Vince Carter see below, in trying to capture Alex. After seeing Alex using her powers while she was in high school, Dave keeps it a secret from Danielle to protect her as he knew what kind of horrible experiments Danielle had planned for her. Scott Green, played by Jason Strickland, Alex's junior high crush. Jessica, played by Jessica Alba, Scott's first girlfriend and Alex's first school rival. Kelly Phillips, played by Hilary Salvatore, Scott's second girlfriend and Alex's second school rival. Kelly deviously discredits Alex at every given turn, much to Alex's dismay. Robin Russo, played by Natanya Ross, one of Alex's neighborhood friends. Though she possesses a sardonic sense of humor and is fun to be around, she suffers from low self-esteem. Nicole Wilson, played by Alexis Fields, another of Alex's friends. An opposite personality to Robin, has a take-charge attitude and strong-willed demeanor. Daniela Tron, played by Lawan Gideon, the owner, CEO of the Paradise Valley Chemical Plant who is the main antagonist of the series. 
She wants to market GC-161 as a radical new weight loss drug, and has made it her mission to find the GC-161 child who she does not know as Alex and capture her, as both a test subject and a threat to the secrecy of her plans. Vince Carter played by John Marzilli, the maniacal head of security at the Paradise Valley chemical plant, he makes it his obsession to find the GC-161 child even after he gets fired from the plant. Lars Frederiksen played by Kevin Quigley, a skilled chemist hailing from the Paradise Valley chemical plant's foreign branch in Vienna. He becomes Daniela Tron's chief subordinate after Vince gets fired. He is named after one of the members of punk rock group Rancid. Hunter Reeves played by Will Estes Hunter comes to Paradise Valley with an agenda concerning the disappearance of his father in relation to GC-161. Episodes Filming locations The series was filmed in Valencia, California and the Santa Clarita Valley. The Mac Home and Paradise Valley chemical plant interiors were filmed in a converted warehouse used as a soundstage. The junior high scenes were filmed at Charles Helmer's and James Foster Elementary Schools. Castake Middle School was used for senior high scenes. The house, used for exterior shots, is located in the Westford Place neighborhood of Valencia. Topic. Availability The show's first season consisting of 13 episodes on two discs was released by Genius Entertainment on DVD format on October 2, 2007. The set is noteworthy for giving Jessica Alba top billing on the package, most likely in an effort to sell more copies, even though she actually only appears in a supporting role, and only in a few episodes. This was then released in Region 2 on April 2, 2012 and in Region 4 on June 6, 2012. The first and second seasons are available through Amazon.com's Instant Video section and through iTunes. Episodes of the series have been seen on a sporadic basis on Teen Nick's 1990s-oriented block, The 90s Are All That. Mill Creek Entertainment released the complete series on DVD for the very first time on August 1, 2017. Topic. Book series A book series aimed at young readers was released along with the series. The first and last books of the series were novelizations of the first and last episodes, respectively. The rest of the series consisted of completely original stories, tied into the main series through the mentioning of various plot points from the TV episodes. <laughs>